Oh, Ooh, boys, y'all stay right in there till I get there. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Ooh, mercy, they spit the bottom. Oh, here we go, boys. Two downloads on the going down now. They can get it pulled one out for us here. Here we go, boys. Here we go. That's what we want. Yeah, that's what we want. Good job. Good job, bud. <laughs> This week's Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV is brought to you in part by Camelback Hydration Systems. Do you have a camel on your back? And by Bole Sportswear and Sunglasses. Also by Buckbuster Scents. Scents for the serious hunter. And by Carolina Outdoor Hunting and Fishing Supply. Hunting and fishing products at an affordable price. And also by the fine folks at the Triad Bait Company in Lexington, North Carolina. Hey folks, want to keep up with the Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV team? It's an easy thing to do. Just like us on Facebook at Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV. And you'll be able to keep up with the behind the scenes clips, bloopers, news and videos, and a lot more. So what are you waiting for? Like us today. Buckbuster Sense has been the chosen deer tracking and cover sense for both guides and professional hunters for years. Try our pine cover scent, acorn cover scent, wild apple, and new this year, sweet corn. And if you need a doe or bucket tracking made from our 100% natural formula, then try our doe estrus or buck urine, Stone Mountain Passion to get that leery buck curious or Stone Mountain Buckbuster to make that mock scrape. So if you're looking for a good hunting scent, at an affordable price, check us out on eBay at Carolina Outdoor Store or on our websites at The Great Outdoors and Beyond or CarolinaOutdoorStore.com. Buckbuster Scents, scents for the serious hunter. This segment of Carolina Outdoor Magazine is brought to you by Carolina Outdoor Hunting and Fishing Supplies, Buckbuster Scents, scents for the serious hunter, and also by Quail Hollow Bird Farm, game birds and bird dog training. Hey guys, we're uh, Jim and Jim and Jim with uh, Carolina Outdoors Magazine and TV. We finally made it down to Lake Murray. With We are with uh, BJ Ayers, Jason Bennett with Bennett's Guide Service, and uh, Getting the boat ready, getting the rods ready, and uh, got some marks already on the graph. Uh, looking forward to uh, to see if we can't uh, snag a few of these stripers out here. Y'all stay tuned. It's going to be fun. Oh, boys, y'all stay right in there till I get there. I'm coming. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Ooh, mercy, they schooling in there. I got we're on warming up today. Huh? I got it. Oh, we're getting starting to light it up now on the bottom. Oh, here we go, boys. These down rods ought to be going down now. What we're doing, uh, they're, they're, we'll just come in periodically and check the baits. And uh, a lot of times you might be dragging trash, and that's what might be causing the board to lag. If you've got multiple boards out, what does it hurt to bring two in and check them? You want to keep that bait fresh. And what we'll do is freshen up the baits. 
and get these uh, going back out here. Good job, man. <laughs> As you can see, what's happened is the planer, the clip has released, and the planer will slide down to that glass bead that I showed you earlier. Of course, the great thing about the Trophy Ridge planer boards, uh, you're not winding in a lot of that heavy weight versus some of the other competitors. shoulders on it. Not just a little guy, we'll take him. Yeah boy. We'll take him. That's what I'm talking about. The planer will come off to the side. It won't be in the way. Sometimes you get them in the net. Just a little guy, but we'll take him to get started here. Beautiful fish. Alright, let's let him grow up. Prettiest fish yeah. swimming. Here we go, number one. Good job. Fish, it's a pretty good one. Jason Bennett pulled one out for us here. Good luck at all. It's a better fish. Yeah, that one looks like he's got some shoulders. Yeah, he does. And as you can see, this was on the uh, the double X tackle super float. We had it behind the boat and uh, had a small quarter ounce sinker on it to keep it. Uh, Keep it off the top of the water to keep it down there in that depth. BJ, do I need to lift and keep that fish in front of you? We need to move them up. All right, I'm going to go high. Oh, come on. There you go. That'll work good. You, yeah. you can get it from there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy, that's good. All right, back over here. I'll try to get that. They go where they want to, don't they? How many clients do you have? Oh yeah, we really keep that rod tight. That's exactly right. <laughs> Especially working them like that, they'll lose half of them, huh? Ooh, that's a good thing. Fifteen pounds, baby. Oh, here we, we go, go, boys. Here we go. That's what yeah, we want. That's what we want. What do you think it might be ten? Ten. And I got a scale in there. It might keep us more honest, but we'll, we'll say ten. <laughs> Oh, that's a good fish, boys. That's what we come for. Check it out with the super float. BJ, I'm going to get a quick picture with you with that fish with that float hanging in there. Okay. Guys, I'm going to try to see if it, Oh, he's kicking hard. Shoot, he's gone. Good. Good job. Good job. Good job, bud. <laughs> well, Jason, tell us a little bit about uh, uh, the transition from uh, uh, summer slash fall to, to now we're we're in uh, you know winter now. Uh, tell us a little bit about the transition and what you do different. Well, on Lake Murray stripers in the summertime go as deep as they can. They like to find that deep cold water mm -hmm. in the summertime, so we catch them deep. General rule of thumb, what I like to use is when that water temperature comes under 78 degrees, I put the planer boards on. Gotcha. When the water temperature is above 78, we put down rods back mm -hmm. on. Now, as you see today, that don't have to be. We can pull planer boards all summer long. Today, we're pulling weighted boards, and you can put weights on them and pull them year round, but under 78 is typical to rule of thumb. In the wintertime, the shallow water warms up a lot faster, mm -hmm. and these fish are going to find shallow water, and usually, most times, they're on the surface in the winter months. Right. You do a lot of bird chasing like some, I see some of these folks doing out here today, or you just have your spots that... Uh that you move to or a little bit of both? Being a planer board fishing, I don't do a lot of right. bird chasing. I like to put the boards out. Uh, being I'm a guide, I don't want four or five people throwing plugs in my boat. I understand that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have taken a few hooks to the top of the head. So uh, what we like to do is put our planer boards out and I just enjoy the planer boards. It's a lot of fun watching that thing take off. I can vouch for that. Yeah, they, they're a lot of fun. So we just typically stay with planer boards and. If we've got experienced clients on the boat, then we'll let them cast bucktails gotcha. into the schools and stuff. But a lot of times these birds, you'll see these birds, they're actually feeding on loons. Mm -hmm. I don't never get excited until I see the fish busting the, busting surface. the surface. Now when I see them busting the surface, naturally we have top water baits and we'll we'll go in there and throw right. some top water on them. Well obviously you're a striper expert, you do a lot of striper guiding. What about, uh, you do any other, uh, take clients out to catch any other fish or do you have anything planned for the future with some of the other species? We do, we do. We're going to add catfish here starting in January. So we'd like to invite everybody down to come catch catfish with us. We also do smallmouth bass 
and we will do white perch trips. If you have youngsters and they can't take the, the slowness sometimes of striper fishing, sure. we'll take the kids out and we'll put them on some white perch and they'll have all the action they want. That sounds like fun. I, I, I think we need to come do a catfish show with them here in a couple months. Hey folks, want to keep up with the Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV team? It's an easy thing to do. Just like us on Facebook at Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV. And you'll be able to keep up with the behind the scenes clips, bloopers, news and videos, and a lot more. So what are you waiting for? Like us today. Hello folks, are you as passionate about the outdoors like I am? Then tune in each week to Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV or Carolina Outdoor Magazine Radio and catch all the action we have to share with you each week in the great outdoors. Whether you enjoy hiking or camping, or maybe you're a hunting or fishing junkie like I am, you'll be sure to find something you'll enjoy on our show. You can tune in to all the action on our website at carolinaoutdoormagazine.com, Wild TV, or America One Television, as well as being able to download our shows on YouTube at The Outdoor Sportsman. And be sure to listen in to our weekly radio show on Saturday mornings on many North and South Carolina AM and FM stations, or get our podcast on our website or on our Facebook page at Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV. This portion of Carolina Outdoor Magazine is brought to you by Catch 'em Up Baits, field staff tested, pro staff proven. Jason Bennett's Guide Service, and also by Buckbuster Sense, Sense for the Serious Hunter. What we got here is um, we had marked a bunch of fish at 30 feet down to 40 feet. So what I did, I put half ounce sinkers, and this is a common thing to do if you ever fishing planer boards and the fish seem to be deeper, if you'll just put you on a quarter ounce, half ounce, three eighths, even an ounce. I got catfish guys fishing eight to 12 ounces behind these boards. You'll be able to get these fish in. And what you're doing, you're fishing for yeah, these you fish, got, but you you're getting the baits or... out oh, away from the boat. Oh, you broke it, Jim. Yeah, yeah, too much pressure, bro. Yeah, when they right there at the boat. When he went, Right you're still he fishing planer boards, but you're that getting the bait out yes, away from the boat. Uh, it's a killer method. Right Summertime, yeah. a day like today where you that catch fish that's schooling, that's they're just deep. The uh, it's a great yeah, way to catch right fish, here. and it's I really fun. Going. I love to fish like this with the heavy sinkers just on the planer really boards. Yeah. We need to check that drag. Maybe we'll get you another one here in just a second. We had a Cool, Jim. Really, really cool. <laughs> it's a little bit I don't adjust the drag if I knew I needed to. <laughs> hey, it's a largemouth guy. We're going to teach you yeah, really. horse. You can't get these drivers to the boat fast. we got to break him in here. That's right. I thought I had about a 30 pound dolphin there for a little while. I'll tell you what. That looked like a pretty good fish. Yeah, it was like that was fish had fish. shoulders, bud. That yeah. wasn't no 20 inch or there. <laughs> He dug in right, right here. There. Oh, he dug once well, he started digging. Hello, everyone. Uh, as you as you uh, been following this morning, we're out here with uh, BJ Ayers and Trophy Ridge uh, Planter Boards, and just wanted to uh, BJ to tell us a little bit about uh, about his company. Well, Trophy Ridge Planter Boards, the original clear board, uh, was a company I started three years ago, and when I first become fanatic over striper fishing and started using planter boards, I just didn't like the heavy planer boards that were out there. So I set out to design a, a planer board that was super ultra light. Uh, one that had a, a, a type of foam that had never been used before in a planer board that would allow a lot of buoyancy. And uh, just got started, got a patent uh, on the design, a couple of uh, registered trademarks, and went online with it. And I give a lot of boards to some guides and they tried them and seemed to, to really like them. So. That's where it pretty much started at. Well, that's awesome. I mean, we've I've seen them. We've seen them out, uh, uh, been very successful with them today. We we get a great spread, make the turns, nothing's getting tangled. Tell everyone how they can uh, get your boards. You can go uh, online to my online store. It's www.trophyridgeplanerboards.com, um, and then I also have an eBay where I sell them on eBay. And uh, there's a lot of dealers in North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia and Kentucky who uh, have the boards. If you go on the website, there's a page there that can show you the dealers and I try to keep it updated as much as possible. Good deal. It won't be long, you'll see bass, but watch. 
soon as somebody sees that water fish, they're gonna be there. He goes, there he goes, he goes. He let it go. He let it go. He let it go. Let it go, boys. Give me the cross. Yeah, speed reader. There you go, partner. That'll keep it from messing up with this one. Then I'll let this one back out. And That'll keep it play. All right, boys, I like my little creek. Two bites. Are they going to the bird yet? Yep, there he goes. I knew, I knew it wasn't going to take long. Yep. Yep, you look right at me now. 12 feet. 12 feet, which pulls it about what? Eight to nine, twelve. Okay. Perfect. Look at that, guys. Give it Those fish right there are catchable. They're off the bottom, they're suspended, and they're not so tight together. They're a little more spread out. That's that's the best we've seen today. All right, what we got here, we marked some fish 30 to 40 feet. What I did was put half ounce sinkers on. As you can see, uh, Jim here's got one. And what that'll do, if you're ever out fishing planter boards and you just can't get deep enough, don't be bashful about putting weights on. I got catfish guys using uh, 8, 10, 12 ounce sinkers uh, running these baits down deep. This is a fun way to fish. I love to fish like this. Still on? Still on. Uh, when you fish planter boards, if you're not fishing these weights, the bait's not going to get down there. If you're marking fish at 30 feet, your baits need to be in that 25 to 28 feet. Uh, that's where they're going to hit them at. There's nothing fish, wrong with putting sinkers on uh, I don't on planter know. boards. I love it. Is he uh, swimming though? You got I've been out up in, in Kentucky before and put two ounces up to four ounces on them to get them deep. It's a great way to catch fish. He's not pulling drag. Striper be pulling drag. I believe yeah. you got your big Striper should be catfish. Striper be pulling you some drag. Yep. All right, come on around that rod there. I don't think it's a striper. You hear I don't that? Because it's, it's going to You hear that catfish. drag scream. And it could be a big striper that just don't know he's hooked. Yep. Usually striper would be peeling off some drag, but you never know. Jim, I'm sorry. You're fine. We hung into another board. No, we're good. No, we are. Yeah, we, we are. Into a that's, board. Okay, that's, that's okay. That's okay. We'll deal with that in just a second. Get, yeah, just get him up here. That's what, was pulling weird a second ago? That's all. I think he got that's too Yeah, that's what I think he got. But we'll see here in a second. All right, put a little, we'll see if we can get him up a little bit. You got a striper. big striper. Oh, it ain't a big striper. Not a big one. It was because he was hung in that stuff. All right, yeah, so I'll lift him up to him. I think he can get this big one Oh, yes. yeah. oh, I thought I don't know what in the world just happened there. I thought we had a stud. <laughs> <laughs> he was hung that what? He was hung the other one, I think, a lot. Mr. Jim, there's your there first first Lake Murray strike bass, there buddy. Is. Let me get you a picture here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let when me tell I, you, I'll adapt in a heartbeat. Oh, I know. And you know the thing about it. Everybody's not going to win. If I tell you you're to try something, give it a try. Yeah, I know. I will. I'll tell him. I thought it was a cat for a while because it was in that line. And you well, check that pulled. drag, but he, I don't know why that fit. <laughs> he was just, he was I'm like, the way that oh, rod was being, went, doom, doom. I thought you had something with some big shoulders right, on We're making too. circles here. Yeah, I, I did on purpose. Okay. And what I want to try to do is ease us out. Okay. What we might need to do is go up to that point and come back there. Yeah. We might. But I don't want to hit that shallow water. We were going into these islands here where it's shallow. Oh, shoot. Will it catch back up, BJ, or am I too close? Uh, probably. 